Dr. Tom, you say, I'm still a bit confused about how severe depression begins in a person. Could you review that subject for me just a bit? Sure, I'd be delighted. If the synaptic gap doesn't have enough monamine activity, monamine traffic, then we got trouble. Really? How so? Well, I was driving to work when suddenly the car started coughing and slowing down and behaving erratically. Clearly, something was wrong. I called the mechanic. He arrived and listened carefully to the engine and smiled. He fixed the problem and then told me what had happened. The gas tank in all cars contains dirt particles. Those particles cannot be allowed to accumulate because they will block the gas from getting through. So, the gas must pass through a filter. But sometimes the filters go bad and dirt blocks the gas lines and not enough gas gets through. And your engine starts to suffer. Now, clearly, I'm making an analogy here. The gas is like the monamines in the snapped gap. Really? How? If not enough gas gets through the gas line into the engine, what happens? The car begins to act funny. It lurches. It coughs. It slows down. Its functionality drops precipitously. The engine stops working well. And when we do not get enough monamines, trafficking in the snapped cap area, our engines, our minds stop functioning at 100% also. Let me summarize that in the following statement. As the density of traffic in the snappy gap area decreases, depression increases. Back to the car analogy. Give the car enough gas and it will run smoothly and without any problems. Doctor, are you telling me that? Just that adequate car functionality requires sufficient gas, so too, reliable normal brain functionality requires a dense trafficking of monamines in the synaptic gap area? Bingo! That's exactly what I am saying. Thanks for listening. This is Dr. Tom.